Hi, I'm Eric, the United States Ambassador to India, and today marks the one-year anniversary of my time as U.S. Ambassador to this great country. I never dreamed I'd have the honor and privilege of representing my country here in India, but what a year it's been. Arguably, over the last 76 years, maybe 2023 was the most productive year in our entire history, with lots of agreements, lots of paperwork, lots of Desi Karak Chai, and lots of accomplishments. So come with me, and let's walk through the year in review. Over the last 12 months, I visited over 22 states and union territories, from Vaga to Kanyakumari, from Mumbai to Kohima, where I picked up some amazing friends, gotten some incredible gifts, and, of course, eaten some great food. Hey, that's my toilet. And it was a banner year for trade. We reduced tariffs and had nearly $200 billion of trade between the United States and India. That's a lot of almonds for a lot of mangoes. Oh, I got to pay? No problem. UPI Gazab hai. To promote peace and increase interoperability, we had a record number of military exercises last year. Not those kind of military exercises, but good work, Marines. Now drop it, give me 10. Yes, sir! From the seabed to the stars, the United States-India relationship is reaching new heights, including all the way to space, where this past year we made huge strides in NISAR, the first satellite that NASA and ISRO are making together that will blast off later this year. So that, you know, young babies like Tiger here will enjoy a future in which he, sure, is crying now, but one day we'll be happy when we put him in space. And you know, we're doing our part right here. Whether it's expanding climate resilience and climate solutions through 10,000 new electric buses we're helping finance, or whether it's the largest solar manufacturing plant ever put in southern India with U.S. help, we're making sure we walk the green walk, not just the green talk. Tik bola? plant Acha. And then there's our historic health partnership. We're brilliant people in India and the United States are working together to come up with new vaccines for things like dengue, malaria, and whatever that was. Don't worry, felt like a bee sting. And with visas, we got the job done. For Poonam, for Superna, for Ravi, and so many others, we reduced wait time by 75%, increased the number of visas by 60%, and made Indians the number one source of students from anywhere in the world, resulting in 1.4 million visas processed last year. Good work, team. This past year, I've fallen in love with cricket. And we're very proud to have announced this past year that cricket will become an Olympic sport in America at the LA 28 Games. Oh! Hey, can somebody fix that window? Moving forward together. This wasn't a new peak. This is a new foundation for the work between Indians and Americans in the future. If we did this much in one year, I can't wait to see what's next. I'll do this one on my own. You know what's between you and I and the keyboard? Nothing. And when it comes to the United States and India, there's nothing holding us back. I hope nobody's stolen my chole baturi. <laughs> <laughs>